This bus stop looked very different three days ago. Covered in racial slurs, it's sparking a deeper conversation in the Asian community and beyond. See this kind of stuff, especially on the movie posters, very, very disappointing. A few days ago, this Vancouver bus stop was smeared in blue, painted with words like pathetic and money laundering thieves. The graffiti clearly targeting the Asian characters displayed on the poster. You know, I like to think that we are a very progressive city, um, but it's still, it's very disappointing to see that there's still a little Trumpism um, in Vancouver. Kevin Lee himself is a movie producer who has produced numerous films about his community. He says it's not the first time he's witnessed this kind of racism. Very unfortunate. It's 2018 to see racist vandalism today in the streets of Vancouver. You know, Vancouver is one of the most diverse uh, cities in Canada or even in North America. Also responding to the graffiti is the LA-based director of Crazy Rich Asians, John M. Chu, tweeting, nothing will shake us. Sorry, we still here. People living in the area are shocked by the vandalism. Oh, I think it's disgusting. I've been here for more than 15 years. I don't recall any kind of incidents like that where people had graffiti or whatever that was at the center of the racist. I don't know. It's unfortunate. It's just, I thought we were, it just seems like we're almost moving backwards now. So. Kevin Lee feels all the headlines of Vancouver's skyrocketing housing crisis could be fueling the flames of this kind of racism. I think it's very unfortunate that, uh, you know, the B.C. government plays that card in terms of um, uh, investments and, and who's taking over the city. But in reality, the reports are actually very small in foreign investments. Um, and and no, it's just, this, is, this is disappointing that way that people play politics with race. A few days later, and very little is left of the graffiti, but its mark was a stark reminder that racism is still very much alive here in B.C. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.